Well, there's the music, and uh, I love it, although I love the music that uh, uh, No Strings put up prior to our, uh, that's our nationally, uh, we bought that tune, by the way, uh, not the first one you heard, of course, but our intro music, we bought that tune years ago from Omni, and uh, Omni is a, a large uh, co corporation that supplies uh, music, and you, you buy or you subscribe, and so luckily one day uh, I said, oh, I, I sort of like that. It sounds like, it sounds like a, an update news and, and uh, those sorts of things about 18 years ago. And so uh, I said, well, I, I'll just buy it. And I bought it for 250 bucks. And I didn't know what I really was doing. But I did learn later on that you normally pay like a grand a year to uh, to get five or six CDs and you can rip whatever music and then you you, you don't you never own it so you just continue spending a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars a year and uh, so uh, that was one of those cases where uh, I didn't know any better and I did a I, I made a great decision in spite of what I did not know and that doesn't happen in life often enough I welcome you to Bobby Lycus car clinic I always start with a little personal story if you've got your own hold your palm up uh, this is a G-rated room. Uh, this is an exclusive hour for you, for those of you who are tuned in, for your friends, your family, uh, for your daughters, your sons that maybe are off to college that uh, might have some problems with their car. Uh, if you have a question about the current state of the GM crisis, uh, and, and now it's uh, Chrysler, of course, as you know, as of last evening, they're shutting down for 30 days uh, for the re remainder of the year, their plants. Uh, but I, I will tell you, if you come to Car Clinic here on Pal Talk looking for the word negative, you ain't going to find it. I will tell you, 2009 is going to be a hell of a year. And it's going to be a hell of a year for those people who make it so. It's going to be a year that we have to dig down deep, grab ourselves by the bootstraps and pull ourselves up and say, what, what's our goal? What, what, what do we do best? We'll find out what people want and give them more of it. That's that's called marketing. You, you find out what somebody wants and you figure out how to give them more of it. And I want you to know that right here on Bobby Likas Car Clinic, uh, paltalk.com, you let me know what you really want and I'll go there. I, if it's renewable, sustainable energy, I can walk that tune and I can. Or if it's the bailout, I can not walk that tune because that's a negative. I, I would rather we call that what it really is, a bridge loan. Now, you say, well, that ain't going to happen. And it's not going to happen for a lot of reasons. And we can get into that, if you please. I do have some headlines and some uh, headliners uh, about the big uh, three and about uh, c uh, countries. You, you see, it's not, this is not, our crisis is not about us. It's about the globe collectively. If the United States gets the flu, the world gets pneumonia. So we need to understand that. Uh, I'm glad to see Gary's in the house. Glad to see Sonny's in the house. And, and all you folks, Crosnet, hadn't talked to you in a long time. Welcome to Bobby Lycus Car Clinic. I, I want to share this with you early on. I love the room. I love the fact that we're, we're filling up. Uh, I, I'm going to be taking a couple of weeks off and I want to get Mr. Bentliff here no strings to uh, create some shows and and uh, and so we can do that and he'll put together some shows for you uh, we, we may rebroadcast a show or two but I wanted you to know that uh, it, it, I'm going to be out of the country uh, for a couple of weeks and taking some uh, well deserved if I if I may pat myself on the back and I don't do that off we don't do that often enough do you do, do, think about it. How often do you pat yourself on the back? Uh, or, I mean, let me let me let me share with you my feelings. When I get up in the morning and I take my shower uh, and shave, I feel good. I look in the mirror and I say, What did I do yesterday that I could have done better? What can I do today that I can do better than I did uh, or plan to do? What are my plans for today to optim optimistically? perform, produce, and be productive to society. You know why? Because you only got you only got a short time to live and you only got a, a short span to be here and to be happy is a hell of a lot uh, more fun 
And I don't know the number of muscles it takes to smile versus frown, but somebody came up with that, those figures one time, and, and it's, it's unbelievable. Maybe uh, uh, Cynthia, oh, oh, mighty smart one. And by the way, welcome. Cynthia's back. She's been on vacation as well. And uh, I think she's going to be out for a couple of days during my absence. But make no mistake about it, the, the next couple of weeks, next couple of Thursdays, uh, I will uh, be on the road. And uh, for your information, I'm going to Mexico. I'm going to Cabo San Lucas in Mexico, where uh, the last time I went, two years ago, it's been two years since I've had a vacation. The last time I was in Cabo San Lucas, my two buddies said, let's go fishing. Now, I've not had good luck on the water, folks. I like my cars. I like four wheels planted on the ground. But I'm with I'm with my friends in Cabo, right? So yeah, you got to get up at six o'clock and Bobby, this coming. Oh, do I wear it? Yeah, wear a hat and you know I don't normally wear a hat except except here in Pal Talk, and I, I, it's a, it's branding and it's fun and those sorts of things. And and so long story short, we we take this dinghy. I'm telling you, it must have been, it was shorter than the studio here. My studio is 29 feet long. The dinghy, maybe it was 22 feet. I don't know. It had a little center console and uh, it had a captain, a Mexican captain, and his name was Bubba. I swear to God, that's what, that's, what, that's what his name was. I don't know what his real name was. And I was there with Bill and John, my two friends. And we rode out there, and we were in the Pacific. We're looking back at the mountainous ranges and the, and the water in the Pacific. You know, it was, ooh, ooh, ooh. we got to get to, they call me, oh, buddy, oh, chum. Now, after I became seasick, uh, after about an hour in that, you know, trolling for whatever it was we were supposed to be catching, the sailfish, you know, in Cabo. And that's not the end of the story. I figured, well, you know, at first I thought I was just a hunger pain, and then I realized I'm, I'm not doing well here. And then I finally, uh, you know, uh, deposited to the, to the ocean, fed the fish. And I said, well, okay, now, now I can get on with it. It didn't work. 20 minutes later, I did it again. 30 minutes later, I did it again. And finally, this was we started about 7 o'clock in the morning. At 11 o'clock, my buddies looked at me, and they shook their head. And they turned, and he said to Bubba, get him out of here. <laughs> and, and when I heard the roar of that engine, even on a little 22-foot uh, uh, you know, boat, if you could call that a boat, 